Okay, uh, good evening, I remember. Uh, I'm just thinking, today I will teach you how to draw the trend line and channel. Maybe many members already knew how to draw the trend line. So today I will, will review it, and uh, I, if, I think if you can draw the trend line, you can catch some good profit. So firstly, let's see the main contents. Today I will talk about the first point, the first contents, how to draw the trend line. The next one, the effect of trend line. The third one, upward breakthrough of trend line. The third one, the correction of trend line. The last one, the buy and sell strategy of channel. So today I will talk about this main contents and I hope you can learn this course very well. This is the main contents. Before the class, let's see the market first. This is the STI index. So from the chart, so can you tell me the trend is good or not? Now the trend is still in the, for the medium long term, the trend is in the downtrend. So how to know that? Because we can see the low point is lower and the high point is higher, is lower. So this is still the downtrend. Okay, then we can see recently, uh, today, the market drop. So we can see here, drop to here. So we know that this is the previous low point. We can see here the previous low point. Then the price touch the previous low point again. They have the, it has the support, right? So if tomorrow, the, the price, the market can be supported. Maybe you have another chance to do the short-term rebound. Please remember, it's not suitable for medium long-term investment. It's only for short-term rebound because the whole way, the economy, the economy of the whole year is not good. So if the market can be supported tomorrow, so it's a good chance to catch some rebound. Okay, then if we see here, if the market like this, up, up, so which pattern it's like, it looks like? Which pattern? In the past, we learned so many chart pattern, right? So if the price, like if the market Go, we are, may go like this. So what's the pattern? Like the head and shoulder, right? Okay, so how to judge the, the, the resistance and support? And we know that, how to judge? We can use the golden section, right? Connect the low point, high point to the low point. And we know that here. So please remember, this is the the price just uh, touched the fifty percent, so have the resistance, have the support. So we can see here. Then we can draw the draw the golden section to judge the buy point, the support price, support and resistance. So recently, we we know. So we see some individual stocks. Last time, one customer asked me that, how about this stock? So we can see this stock. During this period, whether we should pay attention or not, we can see here, the price is in the downtrend or uptrend. Obvious, it is in the downtrend because lower low and the lower high. And we can see here, this is the sideways right. This is the sideways, but the price finally fall below. So we can see here, this is the sideways. So what's the difference among this, among this sideways? So we can see here, this is the sideways again, but we can see the price and the volume. So this day the price go up or right. Here, sharply go, sharply went up. Okay, so we can see here. Then where is the buy point? 
because we learn so many methods to judge what the buy point and the sell point. If we didn't have this share, which point is the good buy point? We know half of the candlestick, right? So maybe half of the candlestick or one third. Then we can see the price sideways for a long time. So we can see here, the price sharply went up. So last, uh, last time the, the customer asked me whether I should sell or not. I told him, if you have this share, you can keep it, you can hold for short term rebound. If you don't have the shares, you should wait another chance to get in because this day you missed a good chance. So where is the good chance to get in again? Half of the candlestick, right? So today the price drop, but we can see the volume increase or decrease. The volume decrease, so it's so normal correction, okay? If the volume increase and the big, and the larger than previous volume, so what's that meaning? It means that maybe the bank outflow, right? The bank money outflow, but the volume decrease. So it tells us that this is the short, this is the normal retracement, normal correction. So we have another chance to get in. If the price touch uh, maybe neutral here, it's another chance to catch some short term rebound, short term rebound and uh, earn some far, earn faster profit, okay? So this is the market. So if you want to find some strong and uh, active shares, you can click the Singapore market and find the what then the right click the volume. Then you can find some active shares. Then if you find the active shares, then you can use the chart or signals to judge whether the share can buy, can get in or not. This is very important for us because if you use filter method to filter some stocks, it's, diff it's difficult to filter some strong stocks. So if you use this function, it's simple. So right click the volume, then you can Wait, you can, you can look at the shares one by one. Okay, the first one is Isra. Okay, so we can see here. The Isra, we see this price. If you have this share, we see the candlestick like this, what should we do? Sell. You should sell, okay? Be why? Because the volume increase. So it tells you that maybe some bank money outflow, okay? Then the price up again. You sell here or not? Because today you saw the candlestick like this, then tomorrow you sell, right? So you can sell at the high price, okay? Then you wait and see. So we can see the price drop to here. It's good or not? Still have chance to go up again or not? Okay, then we can see the volume. The volume is decrease, right? This is the correction. So where is the good buy point? We see here, if the price can be supported the mid at the middle of this candlestick, so it tells us that it may have another chance, right? If it cannot, what should we do? We should uh, sell. If you miss the good chance to sell. So I think you can learn this method. Then we can see next one. This is the, just not, we already talked about these shares. So we can see this stock. This is stock, so we can see here. The normal correction or bank money outflow. It is the normal correction, right? Okay, so you, we can use this function, this method to find some active shares and then use, use the, your knowledge to judge whether the share is, in, is strong or not. Okay, this is the, Market. Then we can see the first content. How to draw the trend line? The premise, the trend is confirmed. If you see the trend is in sideways, it's not good to draw the trend line. If you see the trend is up trend or down trend, you can draw the trend line to judge where is the buy point, where is the sell point. You can connect the two adjacent low point or high point to be a straight line. 
and the third point touch this line, then we can confirm that this is the effective trend line. So if we can know that if we have the two points, we can confirm the straight line, right? And if we have another, the, the third point touch the trend line, so it tells us that the trend is, line is effective, okay? So we can see here, this is the uptrend line, the uptrend line. We can connect the one, two, two, okay? Then if the three, this is the second point. Then if the, the three touch the line, so it, this is the confirm point. So we can, so we can know that this line, this trend line is effective. This is the uptrend line. So later I will, sh uh, I will tell you how to use the uptrend line or downtrend line to judge the buy and sell point. Okay, so this is the downtrend line. The one and the two, then the three, we can connect the high point. If we want to draw the uptrend line, you should connect the low point first. Then if you want to draw the downtrend line, you should connect the high point. Okay, so we can see the market. We see some individual stocks. Okay, then we can see this stock. So firstly, we can see here, the trend is in the downtrend right. So we can draw the downtrend right, right? Okay, then how to draw the downtrend line? Just now I already told you. So how to draw the downtrend line? We can connect the two point. This is the high point, right? And uh, this is the high point. So we can connect this high point to the, this high point, okay? Then we can connect these two points. Then this, can you can tell me the trend line is effective or not? Yes, it's effective because the third point touched the trend line. So the trend line is effective. Okay, so if we see this point, then the price, upward break through the trend line. So what should we do? Should I buy or sell? You can buy, right? Then you wait and see. Because the price go up. Then we can see here, this is the down trend line. Then the trend is changed. So we can connect the low point to another low point. This is the low point. Then we can connect the next low point is here. And we can connect this one. So can you tell me the trend line is effective or not? Because it don't, uh, the third point cannot confirm. If the third point can touch the trend line again, we can know that the trend line is effective. But now, but now we can know the trend line is tentative, tentative, not confirmed. So we should wait and see, okay? So if you confirm the trend line is effective, you can use trend line to judge the sell and the buy and the sell point. Okay, this is the upward trend line or down trend line. So the request for drawing trend line, the trend angle incline almost 45. The second one, generally, connecting the body of candle for the first candle and the last candle. If we want to draw the trend line, we'd better connect the body of candle for the first candle and the last candle. Right, can you understand what's that meaning? So if you want to connect the low point to another low point, you should connect, you'd better connect the body, not the shadow, okay? So this is this one. Then the last one, the more points touch the trend line, the more effective the trend line is. So if you see the, trend, the more and more points touch the trend line, you can know that the trend line is more effective. Okay, so this is the request for drawing trend line. Then we can see this is some samples. Okay, so this is the STI index. We can draw the trend line here. I will connect uh, this low point to this low point, and we can see the low point just uh, touch the 
trend line. So the trend line is effective or not? Effective. Yes, it's effective. If the if tomorrow the the market the price will go up again, so it tells you that you can follow the trend line to judge the buy and sell point. But if you cannot, if tomorrow the price fall below the trend line, so what's what's the hints? It tells us that maybe the price will drop again, okay? So tomorrow is it's very important for us, okay? If you don't have shares, you'd better wait and see. If you have shares, if tomorrow the price sharply drop, you should uh, stop loss or you should uh, sell. For Then you can wait another chance, okay? So this is the market. Then we can see here, this is another this is the story. Just now I already show you. You can connect the high point, the two high points. Then this is the effective trend line. If the price go up again, upward breaks through the trend line. So it tells us that it's a good chance to catch some profit. This is the trend line. It's easy to understand. Okay, then we can see either one. We can, this is the high point, right? This is the next high point. So the high point is lower, and we can connect the downtrend line. We can connect this point to this point. Then uh, the third point touch the resist, touch the trend line. So it's effective or not? Yeah. Yes. Then if you we see the trend line is effective, we can save and uh, it, it uh, can help us to judge in the future, okay? So this is the trend line, and we can see here, this is another sample. This, this shirt is called Spagman. Many customers ask me this shirt, this, uh, this stock. Okay, so we can see here, I connect this low point to this low point, and we can see the Next, the third point touch the trend line. So this is effective. Okay, so if we connect the two points, then which point we should choose to draw another line? We can connect this low, this is the high point between these two points. So this is the highest point. We just connect again, then we can draw the trend line. So we can see here, the price, if you have this share, you should keep or sell. Keep or sell. You can keep, right? But if the price drop, so what should we do? Okay, so we can see this stock. For the low E. Okay, so this is the stock. Firstly, we can see here, this is the trend line. Then we can, how to draw the trend line? First, you should click the parallel lines. Then we should find the two points, the two low points, two, uh, uh, two low point. Okay, this is the first uh, low point. This is another low point. Then we can connect this low point to this low point. Connect this low point to this low point. Okay, so we can see here the Trend line is effective or not? Yeah. It's effective or not? Yeah. We don't know because we cannot confirm the third point touch the touch the trend line, right? Okay, then we can see here. If we draw this trend line, the price fall below, right? Okay. Then we should use the chart pattern to judge. Okay, this is the previous low point. So it, if the price just touch here, may, then go up again, maybe it's another chance. But we can see the price. How to use the candlestick to judge the trend? If the, if the bullish candlestick more than bearish candlestick, so the trend is good or not? It's good, but if the the bearish candlestick more than bullish candlestick, so what should so what's that meaning? 
it's not good, the chain. Okay, so first we can see here, the one bullish candlestick, another day, one bearish candlestick, then two bullish candlestick, three bullish candlestick. So the chain is good or not? Yes, the chain is good. Okay, so the chain is good. Then we can see another day. One bullish candlestick, three bearish candlestick. So the chain is good or not? Not so good, okay? Then we can see another day. One, can, one bearish candlestick, then three bullish, two bullish candlestick. Good channel, good or not? Yes. Then we can see another day. Three bullish candlestick and three bearish candlestick. So what's that mean? So tomorrow the candlestick is very important, right? Okay, if the tomorrow the candlestick is still the bearish candlestick, so the trend is good or not? It's not good, okay? So this is the, this candlestick can help us to judge the trend is good or not. Okay, so this is the share. Then we can see another one. We can see the volume. They should no need to care because it's not good. If we want to earn stable profit, we'd better buy shares in the uptrend, okay? So we can see next one. We can find the shares in the wall. Okay, then we can see some examples. Like this share. So we can see here, this year, firstly, we should judge the overall trend. The overall trend is good or not? Overall trend is not is good or not? It's in the downtrend, right? Okay, then we can judge. We can judge the short term trend. The short term trend is in is uh, had some correction. Okay, so where is the buy point for short term? Maybe half of the candlestick like this, right? Then, if you want to do short term rebound, what's the key point? What's the important factor? You should set the stop loss. Stop loss is very important. If you if you buy at long point, you should stop loss quickly. Okay. So this is the another buy point. If the buy point you you, you buy here, then you should set stop loss. If fall below, sell or not? Stop loss or not? You should stop loss, okay? So this is some individual stocks. Then we can see another one. This share is good or not? Today, one customer asked me this share should sell or not? Okay, then we can see this stock. Firstly, we should see the trend is good or not. We should draw the trend line first, okay? Firstly, we should collect the parallel line. Then we can connect the two points. I can connect this is the first high point. This is another high point, okay? So we can, if we draw the trend line, so the trend line is effective or not? Okay, so if we confirm the trend line is effective, so we should buy and sell according to this trend line, okay? So the price rebound here. Should sell or not? We should see another day whether it can be support or not. Then the price down, right? So we know that the uptrend line has resistance for the price. So here we sell or not? Here we sell or not? We should sell, okay? Then you can avoid some risk. Then we can see here. If you still keep this share, so you uh, if if you have this share, so the just now you to, uh, I already told you today one customer asked me whether the share should hold or not, and I told him, if you still hold this share, now I told you now I told you to sell, now I tell you to sell, will you sell it or not? He said. No, I will keep it. 
So I, I told him, no need to ask me, because if I told you it's the good sell point, you will not sell, okay? So we can see, if the price, the price like this, so we can know this is the low point, right? So we can draw the trend line. This stock is only for short-term rebound. So we can draw the, this is the support. So if the price can be supported, maybe you can sell if after the rebound, okay? But if the price creates new, hits a new low, so you should sell or not. You must sell because don't never buy shares which is a new, which the price gets a new low, okay? So this is very important for us. Then we can see another one. Many shares rebound, uh, correction, okay. So we can see another one. Ezo is the same, right? Okay, then we can see this dark. First, we can draw the trend line, okay? So, this is the low point. This is the high point. This is the low point. Then we, uh, another high point. Then we can connect this high point to this high point. So this trend line is effective or not? Yes, effective. How to judge the, share, the trend line is effective? We should see whether the third point touched the trend line or not. If no third point touched the trend line, we just can, can, uh, can see that the trend line is sensitive. Okay, so this is not the trend line. Okay, then touch again. Is it effective or not? Yes, it's effective. So we should wait and see, okay? If the price can upward break through, so you buy or not? You are, you, you are maybe f afraid, right? Okay, so later I will show, I will tell you how to, the trading words of channel, okay? So this is the trend line. The next one, the structure of trend, the f A. Trend can be divided into the major trend, secondary trend, and short-term trend according to its structure. So you should tell me major trend, how many days Major trend, maybe at least one year. This is the major trend. Secondary trend, how many days? Three weeks to several months. Then the short term trend, how many days? Maybe below 10 days. Okay, so this is the short term. The next one, the importance among these trends is always different. This is the structure of trend. Okay, the next one we should see the effect of trend line. The A, it has an impact on the price movements, support and the resistance line. So if we draw the trend line, it can help us to judge the support and the resistance. This is very important. The next one, it is reversal signal of the price following movement after a breakthrough. If the to upward trend line or downward trend line, upward breakthrough or fall or fall below. So it is it is very important. This is the reversal signal. Then the next one, it can be as the basis of buy and sell operation. Then D, it is more important to meet the trend line frequently. Then if you see so many points touch the trend line. So I already told you the trend line is more effective. Then the last one, the longer duration, the more effective, okay? So this is the effect of trend line. If we use trend line, it can help us to uh, solve some problems, okay? The next one, upward breakthrough of trend line. A, the trend line can be categorized into long-term trend line, medium-term trend line, and short-term trend line according to the time period. So what's that meaning? If I draw the trend line like this, this is the medium term trend line or short term trend line. It's long term trend line. So I connect this high point. This is the last year, right? This is the 
then we tear now. At least one year, right? So this is the long-term trend line, okay? Then we can see another day. If I connect, so how, whether can I connect this low point to this low point? Can or cannot? Why? We should confirm whether this is low point or not. Last time I already told you how to judge the low point and the high point. Use your fingers, right? Use your five fingers to judge whether the point is low point or high point, okay? So we can see if the five fingers, one, two, three, four, five, can we take this the, as the low point? No, because this low price is low is lower than this one, so we cannot. Then this one, one, two, three, four, five. Can we take as the middle candlestick, this candlestick as the low point? Can or not? Can. Why? Because one, two, three, four, five. The three candlestick, the lowest point of the three, can, the third candlestick is the lowest price, okay? So this is the low point. Then we can connect the low point to another low point. So this is the low point or not? One, two, three, four, five. This is another low point. Then we can draw the, the trend line, okay? This is low point to this low point. Can we draw the trend line like this? Can or not? Can. But this is the tentative, tentative trend line. So how to judge? We can, how to judge the trend line is effective. We should see maybe in the future another point touch the trend line. So maybe the trend line is effective. Okay. So I already showed you how to judge how to draw the trend line. Okay, then we can see the next one. The buy point. The price upward breaks through the down trend line for 3% or two candlesticks are above the trend line. What's that meaning? If you want to judge whether the, trend, the uh, breakthrough is effective or not, you should use maybe if the price breaks through the down trend line for 3%. Or two candlesticks are above the trend line. Meanwhile, the volume keep increasing for three days, but it is different with the sell point. No need to focus on volume. If you want to see the, if you want to check the upward breakthrough, the volume is very important. You should see the volume increase. But if we want to judge the sell point, like the fair, uh, fall below, you should. Uh, we don't need to focus on volume because if the price drop, the volume is not in uh, the volume is not important. Okay, but if the price upward breaks through, the volume is very is extremely important. Okay, so this is the upward breakthrough of the trend line. Okay, then I give you some examples so we can see another one. You see some examples. Okay, then we can see this is the wheel one. Okay, then we can see this dark. This dark now is not good, okay? Because why? Because this day we can confirm that the bank outflow, right? The bank money outflow because of the big volume and the bearish candlestick. Okay, then we can draw the trend line. This is the high point. This is another high point. So we can see here. This trend line is effective or not? Yes. yes. Then we can follow the trend line to judge. Okay, so we can see here. The price upward breaks through the trend line, but it's good or not? No good. We should see whether the price like this if the two candlestick is above the trend line, so it tells you that maybe you still can 
weight, then up again, then touch here. If the price can be supported again, so maybe you have chance, another chance, right? So you can use the trend line to judge. Then we can see the next one. Breakthrough effectively. It is more important that the close price upward breakthrough. If you see the shadow upward breakthrough or high price, if you see the high price upward breakthrough, it's not, it's not, it's not good. If it is more important that the close price upward breakthrough. And the next one, the longer distance after breakthrough, the more effective the support, the more effective the trend line is, okay? The, the more effective the breakthrough is. Okay, the next one. The support will change to the resistance after a breakthrough for upward trend line, while it is opposite to a breakthrough for down trend line. So we can know these points can help us to judge the breakthrough is effective or not, okay? So we can see some examples. Then we see this start recently is very strong that we can judge. This is the high point. We can draw the trend line first. Then we can see here. We should see whether it's the good buy point or not. Okay, so we can see, firstly, we should see whether the upward breakthrough for 3.3% or not. Then we can see whether the, three, the two candlesticks upward breakthrough uh, is above the trend line. And we should uh, combine with the volume. The volume increase. So the upward breakthrough is effective or not? Yes, because of the volume increase, okay? So this is the effective. Okay, then we can see next one. So just now we we can use this candle, uh, this share. This share is called super group. Recently we know that shop uh, had some pressure. Okay, then we can connect this high point to this high point and the third point just uh, touch the trend line. So the trend line is effective. Okay, then we can see here, the price upward breakthrough. So the upward breakthrough, we can see the distance is longer, right? So it tells us that the upward breakthrough is effective. We can get in or not? Can we buy or not? Can we buy? This is the buy point, okay? Then we can see this one. This one is the same. Just now I already showed you these examples. If we see the trend, the the price upward breakthrough the trend line with the increased volume, so it's the good buy point. Okay, then we can see next one, the correction of trend line. <coughs> okay, then we can see here, this is the trend line, right? If we use the trend line to judge in the future, it not it not uh, enough because the the price already upward breakthrough this trend line. So we should uh, correct the trend line again, okay? So because of the because the trend will trend uh, the trend already changed to the up trend for short term, then we can draw another trend line again, connect the low point to another low point, and this is the high point. So if the price just uh, touch here or touch this support line, it's another chance to get in. Okay, so this is the correction of trend line. Then next one, we should learn how to draw channel. Later I will uh, tell you how to use it in the homey software, okay? So how to draw, and I should uh, tell you the difference, okay, between the, can the trend line. This, we know that homely software has special candlestick, which is called GCAND, right? Then we connect the indicator. This is the GCAND. Another candlestick is normal, and many software use this candlestick. It's called OCAND. So what's the difference? If you want to draw the trend line, you should use the GCAND. Cannot use the OCAND to draw the trend line. 
you should remember. This is very important. Okay, so now I will tell you what's the difference between these two candlesticks, okay? Then we can see this one. Firstly, we use GCND to draw the trend line. This is the high point. This is another high point. Then we can connect these two points, okay? The next one, if we use this one, wait for a moment. Okay, then we draw the trend line here. Then we find this point. Then we can see here, if we use the same point to draw the trend line, so what's the difference? Can you know what's the difference? I draw the same point, this point to this. I draw the same point, this point to this point. So what's the difference? What's the difference? So we can see here, this is the GCND, this is the OCND. So if we draw the trend line, we can see the difference. But if we don't draw the trend line, the two candlestick maybe it's uh, similar, okay? Maybe it's the same. But if we use the trend line, use the candlestick to draw the trend line, we can see the trend line is effective or not. Which one is better? The up one is better, right? So this is the difference between these two candlesticks. So you should uh, remember, you should uh, remember in your heart. So if you want to draw the trend line, you should use GCND, not the OCND, okay? So how to change? If you see the, you should double click the, the window then you double click the GCND, then you can change the OCND to GCND. So this one, if I want to change OCND to the GCND, we should double click first, then double click OCND, then we can see here, GCND, then we can draw the trend line, okay? So this is the difference. So next one, how to draw the channel? A, draw the parallel line by connecting the row and the high point on the other side, on the basis of trend line. The next one, verification. It is effective once the price touch the channel. Moreover, the judgment standard is the same as the trend line. Okay, the next one, the significance of channel, support and resistance. It also can help us to judge the support and resistance. The next one, as a trading reference. Okay, so later I will show you how to use this one to judge. The difference between the trend line and the channel. Trend line can show the direction, the direction, while a channel indicates the price target. The next one, it means that the turning point of the market after breakthrough, the trend may accelerate when the channel is broke through. The last one, Trend line is determinative, determinative why a channel is subsidiary. Okay, so how to use it? So this is very important for us about the application of channel. A, channel can be used to distinguish the trend. So we draw the trend line to judge the trend is in the downtrend or uptrend or in sideways. Upward channel. The trend cannot reach at the top or bottom, which means the trend turn into weak or strong. The possibility of the downward or upward breakthrough increase and vice versa. The next one, the correction of channel. According to the trend accelerates or decrease. The correction of the channel as the correction of the trend line, not all the price movements within the channel. So what's that meaning? You can draw the trend line, but not all price movement within the channel, okay? So what's that meaning? First, then we can draw another trend. Okay, then we can see this dog. First, we can see the overall trend. The overall trend is good or not? 
Yes, it's good because the downtrend. And then if we see, first, uh, last time I already told you that if you want to judge the trend, judge if you want to judge the shares, individual shares, you should check the overall trend first. Then you can see maybe the daily chart or uh, daily chart or 60 minutes chart or 30 minutes chart. Okay. So first thing, let's see the overall trend. Can you tell me where is the support? Where is the resistance? This is the resistance, right? Why? Because of because the previous high point. Okay. Then we can see here. If you want to buy the shares, can we buy again or not? If you don't have the shares, it's the good chance to get in or not. No, because of the rising space, the price uh, will touch the resistance soon. So we should uh, wait and see if we cannot get in at this point. Okay, then we can see recently. So we can see this one. Then we can draw the trend line. This is the high point. This is another high point. Then we can connect this high point to this high point. So this trend line is effective or not? Yes. Yes, it is effective because the third point touched the trend line. So we can confirm that the trend line is effective. So can we get in or not? Nobody will get in. Why? Because you can see the is you are you if you trade so many times, you lose so many you lose so much money. You lost so much money. Will you buy the shares again or not? Last time I met uh, one customer and uh, I just asked him whether you play shares or not. He told me I lose, ten, I lose one hundred million. Oh, I I lose I lose I lost uh, two million. I lose the oh, I lost the hope. Right. Okay. So if you are the new beginner, will you get in or not? Yes, you will get in because I already told you this method. You will follow this method to judge the judge the buy and sell point. But if you have so had so many experiments, trading experiments, will you get in or not? No, you will wait and see because you are be afraid, right? So you you are there to buy again. Okay, so this is the buy point. If you buy, you can earn some money, right? Then the trend line is was breakthrough, so we should uh, correct. We should uh, correct the trend line again. Okay. So this is the low point. This is another low point. Then we can draw the trend line again because the down trend line was broke through. Then we should uh, connect the trend line again. Okay. So this is the low point. This is the high point. So this trend line is effective or not? No, it's not effective, okay? Then we can see this one. If I connect this low point to this low point, effective or not? No, okay? So if you have this, if you want, if you ask me whether the share should buy again or not? No, because this is the resistance. You miss the good chance to get in. So you need to wait another buy point, okay? So this is the shares. So why, uh, I already told you the important thing is that you should buy the shares in the uptrend, okay? So the share is in the uptrend, right? So it's good. Then I can show you one stock. This is Malaysia stock. How to draw the trend line and the trading lures, the straight buy and sell strategy of trend line. Then I hope you can practice at home. Okay. It's 
slow, okay, then we can see. We use the Singapore stocks to judge. So firstly, you tell me this share is good or not. We should, we should check the overall trend. The overall trend is in the downtrend, right? Okay, then we can draw the long-term trend line. How to draw the long-term trend line? You should see, connect this low point to this low point. This trend line is effective or not? Yes. Yes. One, two, three, at least three points touched the trend line. So the trend line is effective, okay? Then we can see he, this is the long-term trend line. Then we should know that uh, we, sh uh, we should uh, connect the trend line again. So this is a small short-term trend line. This is the uh, short-term trend line. So can you tell me this trend line is effective or not? We should see the, we should check by the points. One point, two point, three. So three, the, at least the three points touch the trend line. So the trend line is effective, okay? Then we can see the trend is still in the downtrend. Then we can draw the trend line again. So can you tell me now is the good buy point or not? No. No. So when is the good buy point? We should wait until the price upward breaks through. Volume is important or not? Volume is very important. Then we should check the volume again. Volume can help us to verify. Okay. So if you see the upward breaks, the price upward breaks through, and uh, the volume increase at the for keep increasing for three days, maybe it's the good chance, okay? So this is very important. Then we can see next one. The next one is the, according to the trend accelerate, the correction of the channel, as the correction of the trend line, not all the price, just now I already told you. Then we can see the trading lures of channel we can see here, the A point, B point, C point, and the D point. A point is the sell point or buy point. Yes, it's the sell point because this is the upward trend line. If the, you see this is the upward trend line, if the price touch the trend line, A, like A point, is the sell point. Then B is the buy point, right? Okay, then C is buy point or sell point? Buy point or sell point? You should see clearly. If you don't see clearly, you will lose money. Okay, we know that A is sell point because it's obvious, right? Because then B is the buy point. Why? Because another day price up again. C is the sell point or buy point. C is the sell point. Why? Because the price fall below the trend line, right? So C is the sell point. Then D, sell point or buy point? It's hard to judge, right? Sell point or buy point? D. Some, some members said it's the buy, some some members say it's the buy point. Some members think it's the sell point. So you should remember, just now I already told you the upward breaks through, but the trend line is upward trend line or down trend? Upward trend. So D is the sell point or buy point? It's the sell point. Why? If you see the upward trend line, then the price Upward breaks through the trend line is the sell point. You should remember because of the upward channel. Okay, so this is the trading rules. A is the sell point. B is the buy point. D and C is the sell point. So three sell point, only one buy point. 
this is the upward channel, okay? So we can see here. The trading lures of upward channel by point buy when the price touch the downtrend channel because if the price will get the support. The three points, three sell points. The first one, sell when the price touch the upward channel. The next one, sell once the price fall below the upward channel. The next one, sell when price fall below the downward channel. You should remember. So if you draw the trend line, you will be, you will confirm, okay? Another sell point. The price fall below the down chain, downward channel and rebound to downward channel again. So what's that meaning? I can, like this. This is the up trend. This is the buy, this is the sell point, right? This is the buy point. This is the sell point. This is the sell point. This is another sell point because if you see the price had some rebound and touch the trend line, so this is another sell point. Why? Because of the resistance. Okay. So this is very important. You should remember. So if you see the upward channel, it has four sell points, only one buy point, okay? So this is the trading rules of upper channel. You should remember. Okay, so maybe you will be, you will feel. This is the sell, this is the buy. This is the sell. D is sell. D is another sell point. Okay, so this is the downward, the upward channel. Later I will test all of you, okay? So like this. Here buy point, right? Here sell point. Here the buy point. So here sell or not? It's the sell point. Even if the price upward breaks through, this is the sell point. This is buy point or sell point? Sell point. Then another sell point is here because rebound to downtrend line again. Here is another sell point, okay? The next one, the trading rules of downward channel. It's different, it's different with the upward channel, okay? So this is the downward channel, A, B, C, D. A is buy point or sell point? Buy. B is sell point. C is the buy point or sell point? Sell. D, C, you can see, this is the downward channel. C means the price upward breaks through the downward channel. Buy or not? Buy. Buy point. D is the buy point or not? Or buy. sell point? Buy. <laughs> you are very puzzled, right? So D, we buy or not? D is the buy point. D is the buy point. Yes, but uh, you should know that this is the downward channel, okay? So what? this is the downtrend. The price like this. Maybe up, maybe go down again. Okay, so now I will show you. This is the A, right? Buy or not? Yes, this is the buy point because the trend line has some support for the price. Then this is the B, sell point because this is the resistance, right? But if the price upward breaks through the resistance, buy or not? Here is the buy point. Write down the sell ID. Uh, sell. B sell. Oh, B sell. B is the sell point. Then this is the D. D. You can see here the price <coughs> fell below the trend line, right? So here is the buy point because the price may have some rebound. So D is the buy point. So D is, D is, D is here. 
or here because four below so maybe it's here this is a by point okay so you should uh, remember this and uh, keep in your mind okay because they have the rebound okay so this is the trading rules then yes Uh, later I will tell you okay so firstly let's see the sell point the sell point sell once the price touch the upward channel then the three buy points a buy when the price touch the downward channel the next one buy once the price fall below the downward channel buy when the price upward breaks through the downward channel so if you see the price the trend is in the downtrend you have three buy points only one sell point then finally one more buy point the price upward breaks through the upward channel and retreats to upward channel again so what's that meaning this is the breakthrough right then retrace and uh, go up again so this is another buy point okay so you should remember this so this is the trading rules of downward channel okay so let's see some examples this is the shares this show is recently so strong right gmg okay okay then we can see this share this is the downward channel right here is a sell point right another sell point Sell point here, four below, four below, buy or not? Buy, okay, but only for short term. Then if you see here, the price up again, upward breakthrough, buy or not? Buy, another buy point, okay. So let's see this dark. This share is so strong recently, okay? But the overall trend is downtrend or uptrend? Yeah. Downtrend, we can see here, then the downtrend. Okay, then we can see, if you, if you draw the trend line, you know here is the buy point. Then the trend will revert, the trend, the downtrend change to uptrend. Okay, so we connect the low point to another low point, okay? So this trend line is effective or not? No. Not effective because there's no that point. the third point touch the trend line. So this is not the effective, okay? Then we can see here, but can we draw the trend line or not? Yes, because we can use two points to draw the trend line, okay? Then if we draw this one to this one, This trend line is effective or not? Yes. Yes. Then we can connect this point. So we can see the upward channel. Here we sell or not? No. Upward breakthrough, sell or not? Sell. Why? Because of the upward channel, okay? So you should sell. Here sell again, okay? So here, buy or keep, or wait and see. You should see the tomorrow, right? Yeah. The tomorrow is very important, okay? But we can judge the candlestick combined with the volume. Okay, then we can see this one. This correction is normal or Short term no short term correction, okay. Then we this is the GMG. Then we can see OI okay edge. Today the OK edge hot, right? Do you know the good news or bad news? Good news or bad news? We don't know, right? But today hot. If the good news the share is good or not, maybe tomorrow if the open okay, if the open again maybe will go up right if the bad news 
Maybe it's not good. But today the shell hot. Okay, then we can see this shell. This shell has some rebound, right? Last time I already showed you where is the cell point. If you have this shell, because I know that many members bought this shell and earn money, but they don't know when to sell. So can you tell me when to sell? Half right. So you see the shares every day. If the price touch the resistance, sell. Here sell or not? Yeah. You should sell, okay? Because just touch the half of the candlestick. So you should sell for short term, okay? Then you can avoid some risk. You can earn the faster profit, okay? So now we can see here. The correction is normal correction or normal or abnormal? Normal. It's normal correction, right? Because the volume decrease or increase? Decrease. Decrease, right. But if the volume is like this, it's larger than previous one. So it's not good. Maybe bank money outflow, okay? But now you can confirm the bank money inside or not. The bank money still inside the share or not? Okay, then I tell you how to judge. Okay, so this is the price, right? Then three days sharply uh, up, sharply went up. So this is the bank money inside, right? If there's no bank money, the price will not go up, right? Okay, so we confirm the bank money inside, but only for short term. Then the next day, if you if you are the bank money, if you are the banker, will you sell quickly or not? No, you have no time to sell, right? Because of the volume, there's no big volume. So we can confirm that some bank money is still inside, okay? So if you have this share, you, you should wait because today hot. Maybe you should uh, pray that the news is good news, not bad news. So it's good for your Profit, okay. So we can see another one. We can see some stocks. Okay, then we see this stock. This stock is see overall trend is good or not? Good. So we can confirm that the sh the company is strong. Right, the company made profit. Okay. Then we can draw the trend line. Connect the low point to another low point. The trend line is effective or not? Effective or not? Yes. Firstly, we should connect this point to this point because of the adjacent point. Okay, then we can connect these two points. So if you have the, you know that this is the upward channel, right? Here, sell or not? Sell. Here is the buy. Here is the sell point. Here, sell or not? Sell. Okay. Then rebound again. Here, sell or not? Sell. Okay. So we wait. Now the share is in sideways. There's no Chain. Then we wait and see. Okay. Then go up again. We should uh, connect, connect, correct the trend line because the trend line is no signification. Okay. Then we can draw the trend line again. Connect this low point to this low point, and uh, we connect this one. So if we have this share, this is the upward channel. Here sell or not? Sell, sell okay? But we should remove. This is the upward channel, okay? So this trend line is effective or not? We don't know, okay? Then we wait and see. So the, share, the trend line is effective or not? It's not effective then we should uh, connect another low point again. We should co correct the trend line.
fall below. So we wait and see, okay? So we can use the trend line to join, but now the share is good or not. Now the share is in sideways. If you see the share is in sideways, you'd better wait and see, okay? So this is very important for us. Then we can see this one. This one is the same. This is the buy point, right? The sell point, buy point, sell point, buy point. Here buy or not? Buy point, because upward breaks through, okay? So this is the downward channel, the difference between the downward channel and the upward channel, okay? So just now I already showed you. Here is the buy point, here is the buy point, buy point, buy point, okay? So this is the, this one. Then next one, I will tell you how to use it in the home software. Because this trading strategy is similar to moving average, right? It's similar or not? Yes. So if you don't, if you think the trend line is, if it's difficult, Maybe you can use trend, uh, movie average to judge, okay? So you don't know which day, how many days movie average is suitable for individual stocks because different stock, different movie average, different parameter, okay? So then we can see here. You can use this one, black box expert, to find the best parameter of moving average, okay? So how to find it? Firstly, we can see this is the Samsung, right? We choose another one, maybe Infra, okay? So we want to know which, how many days moving average is suitable for Infra. So we first, we should see, we should click black box expert, okay? Then we should see here, this is the, we change to moving average. This is the moving average, right? Then we should uh, optimize. <coughs> optimize. Because we want to know how many days moving average is more suitable. So we should uh, connect. First, we should uh, find the black box expert and we connect the moving average. Then you can see the current. So we can see here, the accelerate success ratio, 86.87, profit result, 81.17%. So if we use moving average to judge the shares, it's good or not? It's good, right? Okay, then we can see here, this is the uh, optim uh, according to the principle of golden cross, we can see the parameter one, two, three, four. If you do the, if you want to do the short term, how many days? Twenty days, right? If you want to uh, use long term, maybe medium long term, one hundred and fifty days, right? Fifteen days. Then if you want to do medium term, maybe parameter two and parameter three. Short term, you use parameter. One, 20 days, okay? Then here, it also have the recommend indicator. It tells you that it can help you to find which indicator is more suitable to this shares, okay? Then if we use another one, maybe noble, then we click the black box expert, okay? So first we should see recommend indicator, which indicator RSI right so if you want to keep more profit if you use SI to judge this share you can make the, the profit result 80, uh, the success ratio 63.28 percent the sex the success ratio is enough or not it's good or not I think it's good because you can make more profit. you cannot Confirm your profit ratio is 100%. Nobody can do that, right? Okay, so if we use another one, then we can see optimize. If you click optimize, the parameter will no change because I say the parameter is 9 and 14, okay? 
So if we use another one, maybe you want to check like we share maybe or uh, you see here. The parameter changed, right? Just now the parameter is 9 and 40. Now it's 8 and 10. So it tells you that if you want to judge this share, you should uh, use the parameter to, you should change the parameter to 8 and 10. Where is the Here, parameter 8 and 10. Can you see clearly? 8 and 10, okay? Then if you want to check another share, like this strong share, so if you don't have the chance, if you don't have the shares, I already told you which point is the good buy point, half of the candlestick, right? Okay. Then we should we can use the box backs uh, black box expert to judge. Okay. So if we see the if we use moving average one, success ratio is good or not? Not good because the profit result is minus twenty minus thirty percent, right? So it's not good. Then we can use the Recommend indicator MAG1. So it tells you that if you use this one, recommend indicator is moving average. Okay, then we can click optimize. So we know that if we want to do short term, because just now I told you the share is only for short term rebound, cannot keep for long time for long term. Okay, so this is the. This function is, I think, is very useful. So you can see here, this is the buy date and it's the sell date. If you have this share, keep or not, you just keep it, they will give you the current hint. You can hold the shares, okay? Then now you can see here, the parameter is 20. So if you can use 20 moving average to judge this share, okay? So we can use 20 moving average change the parameter to 20. Then click Save, then click OK. So if we use 20 moving average here, can we buy or not? Yes, we can buy, right? Because I already told you the buy and straight, straight uh, buy and sell strategy of trend of trend line. Then I already told you the method is the similar, right? Okay, so here is the buy point or not? Yes, it's a buy point, right? Okay, then you can keep it, sell or not? No. Touch here again, buy or not? This is the you can you can check this the, as the upward channel, right? Yeah. So okay, so here can we buy or not? Buy or not? We can see another day. Buy or not? Buy, because this have the support, okay? So you can buy, then you can earn money, right? You still can earn money, okay? So if you want to, you if you want to find which, uh, how many days, permit how many days moving average is uh, suitable for individual stocks, you can use this method to judge, okay? So this is the this is the import. This I think this stage, uh, trading rules is very important for the for our members. Okay. Then I want to. I already tested you, all of you. So do you have any question about the trend line? Do you have any question about the trend line? Like uh, drawing how to draw the trend line or like other programs. So this course today, the course is the contents are very, impo are very simple, right? But I think if you use it very well, you also can make profit, okay? So this is very important for us. So this is the today's course. And I hope you can remember the trading rules of upward channel and uh, downward channel, okay? So this is very important for us. And I hope you, if you learn the contents, you should review it, review, 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 then you can become expert. expert. <laughs> Nobody can be the expert, but maybe I think you can make profit. This is our 
we are right. Okay, so this is my uh, this is my today's course, and I hope you can learn it very well. And uh, if you have any question, you can contact me or email me, or you can give me your email address, and I can send the PowerPoint to all of you. Okay, so you can remember uh, this. I write the email address to you. And if you if you or have any question about the software or the how to uh, about the technical the methods, I can uh, help you to solve the problems. So this is my email address. Then if you have any question. This is my email address, this is my phone number, so uh, we can, can keep in touch, okay? So thank you for attending today's class, and I hope I can uh, give you two more, more uh, the good, the better English courses. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.